Hi, welcome to GoCo Pro. Today we're going to show you how to um, put together a screen on our new um, bigger high tension frames. Uh, so, the first thing that we do is we have a cardboard template. We take a little bit of a spray adhesive and we just put it onto the edges and that is going to help us keep our tape uh, tacky. We then take our super sticky tape and we lay a section of it down onto the area that we've just used. I find if I use a knife it can uh, keep it from being moved around. I just probably need a little bit wider. The problem with super sticky tape is it's super sticky. Therefore, makes it difficult to work with at times. But we just you know, slice it across here. So the idea is that we're putting this tape uh, into the template on either side of the area. You get these templates when you buy one of your frames. You then do the other side. Uh, once you do a few of these, you can get a little bit better at it. Uh, it becomes a little bit easier to sort out. I've not done that many of them, but it does uh, get easier the more you do. So there we've um, put our tape down. And the next thing we do is we take our uh, master roll, which goes right to the end. And what we do is we lay this down, uh, lining up with the end of our cardboard. And we're just getting an even amount on either side of the tape. And then we just go into the middle and stretch it out. And we go into the middle and stretch it out. So we're just getting this first layer down. And what I'm going to do now that I've got this in place, so I'm just going to slice off a little bit around the corners, make a little bit neater. And the same on this one over here. So, that is uh, effectively the easy part. Now it gets a little bit more tricky. What you do is you take your next length of material. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it uh, to the length I think will work. And this is where you now need to have a pretty good uh, level hands. And you just want to lay it down, lining up the two bits of tape on the other side. Now, you occasionally get the odd a crease or a wrinkle in there, it doesn't matter as long as the edge is nice and uh, secure. Then we do the other side. So the good thing about this tape, as I've maybe already mentioned, is it's super sticky. Uh, this then allows it to stick like a sandwich to your um, to the film mask material. What we then do is we would just stretch the frame in much the same way as we do, would with any other uh, frame. This is a what we call our pizza frame. It's uh, you would use the uh, ordinary ends and we've left the material longer so that it can go through the... Um, uh, it, it can be used on the end quite comfortably. And we would just apply this down into here.
We don't put the, the rubber, uh, the silicon rubber too far down at this stage. And we just get it nipped up. And then when you get to this side, we can do the same thing again. Some of the slack will be taken up when you go over it. Um, which is pretty good. So once we've got the side, the, the main bits in, we then uh, go back and we do the sides. This is sometimes a little bit uh, thicker because you're actually taking two layers of tape into the slot uh, and that's why we use our roller on this one. We're just, we're just taking it below the top end. We're not, we're not pushing it all the way down. We're just taking it down a little bit. We take our next one on the other side. So it's quite good to start in the middle and work your way to either end. Now, we've got this in and it's pretty much in place, but what we're going to do with it to get a better grip is we're going to put a second layer down of the, um, of the rubber. Uh, when you add a second layer, it helps really grip the film um, master material in place and um, it stops it coming back out so it really gives you a much better hold on the master material so again at this stage i'm not going and doing the whole the whole way down we're just gradually working it down uh, as we go then creates a tighter and tighter um, product. So what this does is it allows us to increase the width, the printable width of our um, of our mast because uh, we the sort of rule of thumb is that you have ten millimeters um, either side of your squeegee and then another at least ten millimeters inside your frame. And what we've now got is this nice frame that's ready to go. So that's pizza one and you do the exact same thing with the um, the other frame which we'll do in a separate video. Thank you.